What's happening, YouTube fam? J Tips TV back at it again with another video. Today we got a banger. I know you guys have been noticing that Salary Caps Last Chance Tournament is coming up in a couple weeks. Last Chance Qualifier. So you're going to see a lot of the similar defenses, nickel over G, as you've seen in DC Tournament. But what a lot of people are going to stick to and what's really effective in pretty much every mode in this game if you get fast DBs is the nickel 335. Now I am in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. I'm going to show you how to effectively cross man and then how to send a blitz with the cross man. Now, I like the Patriots, you know, for this defense because they have fast, fast, fast players everywhere. Now, my user is going to be Obi. You always want that user to be in that left spot. I put Keon Crisson. He has 95 speed. We have Patrick Tung, Chung and Duke uh, Dawson. They're probably our two slowest guys. What I like to do, though, is uh, if I could find him real quick. You can also, if you really want to, I know the Patriots have this uh, Josh Jones guy, or Jonathan Jones, 95 speed as well. So you can sub him, and, you know, you can just figure out who to sub for. Like, uh, Harmon, I'll probably put him in for uh, Duke because he's not that fast. So, boom, there's the lineup. Jason McCourty, Devin McCourty, Jonathan Jones, Stephon Gilmore. And then we have Dante Hightower there, the linebacker. He's really good at brush uh, pass stats. And then Trey Flowers. And then we have our guy Lawrence Guy right there. So our user is going to be Obi uh, Melowomfu. I can't even say that name. And then we have Keon Carson again, a 95 speed guy. It's just a really, really glitchy way to run this defense. Now you're going to come out in the Tampa 2. I'm going to show you the basic way to cross man and what you're going to be looking for. Now, what I like to do, and you guys are going to notice against a popular formation like Bunch, is you know something like this they'll try and flood one side of the field now what I'm gonna do on this is I'm going to press I'm going to actually play hard flats and on the bunch side I like playing a soft squat that's just me now what I like to do with croissant especially on the bunch you'll see a lot of people move him over here so they can't really get you know crossers over the middle a lot of the times what I'll do is I'll leave him over that guy right there because I trust him over Adam Thielen he's faster he's not gonna get beat deep now what I like to do with my middle linebackers I like to man him up or I should say my middle safety in the linebacker position man him up on that outside receiver man chung up on the uh, the uh, tight end and then all you got to do is watch X pretty much what route he's gonna run now I'm gonna crash my lineup and you guys are gonna see how good this really is as you guys see right there boom nothing is open get a pretty good pass rush and we get our sack now, what I also like to do with this defense is I like to spread the D-line and crash out. And what that's going to do is that's actually going to initiate a really, really fast pass rush. It's actually going to come in very, very quickly. Boom. There it is. There's the defense right there. You guys see it. I'm showing you it pretty, pretty easily. It's really, really easy. And what you could also do with this guy, if you are feeling frisky, cross man him on that side. And then you could play, you know, an outside quarter right there so you can't get beat deep. So right there, boom, you guys see I'm crashing my line out. And you guys are going to see, I'm always going to be inching like this in case they decide to run it. As you see right there, boom, end up guarding everything. Nothing's open. I mean, nothing at all. We, uh, you will get a better pass rush right there. And we end up getting coverage sack. Now, if you're like me, and, and this happens in games a lot, uh, game, I don't know why the game's weird like this, but it'll choose whether or not your pass rush is going to be glitchy or not. If, for some reason, your pass rush isn't getting in there, what I like to do is this. I like to press. This is the blitz version. Again, play hard flats. Spread your linebackers. Put this guy, middle guy, in a spy. Or you can blitz him. It's up to you. I like blitzing him. I like mixing it up. I'll put Chung or him in a spy. And then I'll do my cross man again. But this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross man the safeties. And the reason I cross man the safeties on the blitz is because it actually comes in a little bit faster. And the run is going to also be stopped if you bring him in the box. Now, what I'll do is I'll bring him in the box a little bit here. Bring Jones right there. And what I'm going to do is say I'm on the right hash mark. So I, I cross man my left safety with the right receiver. I'm actually going to put a shallow zone. Don't put a hard flat because they can just throw a quick uh, outside uh, pass lead right there. Either put a cloud flat or a soft. I'd prefer you guys put a cloud and just manually guard the flats over there yourself. But you can also put a soft squad if it is a short down situation so they can't hit you deep. So again, boom, this is it. My only responsibility really is the running back if he comes up the middle or the tight end. So you guys are going to see, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send the spy immediately. So they snap. Hold on, let me put the... Uh, this is what the offense is running, boom. This is what our defense looks like. And you guys are going to see, once they snap the ball, I'm going to send the spy right there. And you guys see, we get a really, really good pass rush. Obviously, he kind of got burnt deep there, but we have two deep safeties back there. So if we were to get beat deep, we can double click. So B, double click, and it'll switch you on to one of those safeties, and you can move on and make a play. Now, again, I'm going to show you it one more time. It's a very, very, very easy, you know, to set up right there, boom. So again... This time I'm going to put Harmon on the spy. 
And that's pretty much the defense right there. Again, we we are actually I'm gonna man him up on a uh, dealing. And what you could do if you really want to get crazy, it's up to you. You could actually send Chris on, so you guys know you are sending five right here. You'll get a, you'll generate a better pass rush, especially against uh, a five man front, as you guys see right there. Boom, right there. Pretty much everything's locked down. You just got to be careful. Just be careful. You're not you know getting too aggressive. Now again, right there. Boom. And that's pretty much it right there again. We just cross man these guys and what we're gonna hopefully end up doing is guarding this ourselves So again boom you guys see I'm actually blitzing everyone I'm gonna hover in this gap and you guys see right there covering everything I'm making sure nothing's open and by the time he's able to look up and make a read he ends up getting sacked So it's a very very effective defense you guys do see as in this instant replay right here ends up getting screamed at again That's 95 speed coming off the at edge and he ended up bumping the guy which is nice It throws off his route as you see right there both those guys collide and it just makes it tougher for the quarterback And if you're playing someone who's a little jittery in that pocket He may end up making the wrong read there So it's very very easy to get pressure in this defense again putting a spy on the field and sending it is pretty effective if I should, uh, you know, do say so myself. I like doing that a lot of the times. Right there, boom. This is what our defense is looking like, something like that. Or if you want, you can, you know, put, you know, a middle third right there. Just something to that extent. It's very, very simple. And you guys see, again, we send the spy immediately. Boom, A's our responsibility, and we end up getting the coverage stack. So it's really, really good defense. Nothing was open that play. It's very, very simple. I showed you guys the two basic concepts, just regular cross man with three man or four man rush. And then the five man, six man blitz where you can cross man with the safety. So use this to your effectiveness, guys. I promise you'll win more games. Trust me. Just give it a chance. Try it out. Lab it out versus your friend. Ask your friend if they want to play a little small money game or a free game, depending on what you guys like to do. And try it out. And I guarantee you, you will have their run stopped and their pass game in eight box. Glad you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, this defense, a lot of people love using this. So it's a really, really effective style of defense. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to hit that sub button if you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn our notifications on. Guys, this is J Tips TV signing off. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, peace.